Beast Academy is such a unique program. A textbook that's more like a comic book, the discovery approach in the practice book, not to mention those adorable little monsters. But now that your time with Beast is coming to an end or nearly coming to an end, what's next? I've graduated two from Beast now and I've done the research. So today I've got five ideas for you. Now when a lot of moms are coming to the end of Beast Academy, they look at art of problem solving. It's the same publisher. So it seems like the next logical step. And then they open it. It's much drier of a text. There is so much reading and it looks nothing like a math book. Not that Beast does either, but by high school, a lot of us feel like it should. But don't let that deter you if you have a kiddo who is up for a math challenge or your kiddo is headed to into a STEM major, especially at a competitive school. And if live evening classes fit better for your schedule, Art of Problem Solving is the only place that I know of that offers that. Like Beast, your kiddo is going to discover the solution to math problems before they actually learn the solution. They're going to develop great critical thinking skills, intuitive reasoning. It's a really, really fantastic program. Your student will graduate from high school with a top-notch math education. Now the next question is what level? Because pre Beast 5 has a lot of pre-algebra in it, as you know. And so do you go ahead and do another year of pre-algebra, a formal pre-algebra, or skip ahead to Algebra 1? For Art of Problem Solving, most parents recommend going into pre-algebra. Art of Problem Solving does have some placement tests like they do for Beast, so definitely check that out. The benefits of going into pre-algebra is one that solid review is always good, right? And in pre-algebra, your kiddo is learning the more formal version of what they learned in Beast. In Beast, we you don't learn formulas of math per se, but you're learning how to do it just without the formulas. And starting in pre-algebra, you are. So it's making that transition. But the ben bigger benefit is that your kiddo is going to be learning how to make that transition into a completely different kind of math textbook, but without having to spend all of their brain power both on learning how to use that math book and format, plus learning new math. But maybe you ended up at Beast, not because you have a gifted little math monster, but because your kiddo has a quirky way of learning or other math programs have left them mad at math or anxious about math, or maybe like my middle kiddo, they just don't need a lot of practice. And that's how you ended up there. For a kiddo like this, Mr. D's math might be the perfect choice. Mr. D's is a solid program, but not rigorous. Ben is headed to probably a community college or trade school. What level? Ben went from Beast 5, which we finished in seventh grade, into Mr. D's Algebra 1. And it was a perfect transition. The maths lined right up for him. Ben is finishing Advanced Algebra this year, and I'm just as sold on Mr. D's now as I was when we started it three years ago. Now my youngest, Matthew, is headed for a four-year school and a STEM major. So I wanted something more rigorous than Mr. D's, but he's not up for the challenge of art problem solving, and I don't think the format of the textbook would work well for him either. I'm not ruling it out for later on in high school, but he needs more intellectual maturity before he's ready for, <laughs> for dealing with the challenge of it. Now Matthew finished Beast 5 in sixth grade, and so for seventh grade, I put him in a live online math class. It's one that Elizabeth took. She loved the teacher. The teacher is fantastic, but the format was not good for Matthew. It didn't help that at the beginning of the school year, she asked the kids what program they used in middle or in elementary. And Matthew said beast. And she said she didn't think it was a good program. Did not go over well with Matthew at all. <laughs> this year, Matthew really wanted videos but we just needed something self-paced. So I happened upon Math Without Borders, which are videos that go along with Forrester's math textbook. And it has been a perfect combination for him this year. With or without the videos from Math Without Border, 
Forrester's Math is an excellent program. The textbook is well laid out. It's easy to understand. It's easy as a parent to hop into it if my kiddo needs help. As for what level, Matthew is doing algebra this year. And I don't think it would have been a problem for him to move from Beast 5 into Algebra 1 with Foresters. Last year was a lot of um, kind of biding our time. He needed more maturity to get into Algebra for the challenge reason. For the math itself, I think it would have been just a seamless transition from 5 into Forrester's Algebra. If you're interested in the videos with Math Without Borders, you can get a sampler pack, which is, I'm pretty sure it's free, that you can download. It has several videos from different levels so you can see his teaching style. He also has videos on his website, so definitely, definitely check them out because there's nothing worse than curriculum that doesn't fit and you can't return, which you can't with them. Now, if you're looking for something that's entirely online, the videos, the grading, the work, all of it, CTC math would be my choice. If you are a family who is on the road a lot, road school and you do school away from home, CTC math is definitely one to look at. It is a strong program. And one plus of CTC is that you get all the levels with it. So if you need to do a little bit of pre-algebra at the beginning of the year and then move them into algebra, you can. If you need to go back and do some review here and there, no problem. If your kiddo progresses quickly, and you're ready to move on past Algebra 1 in the same school year, you got that option as well. But if you want something that's mostly online, but you have a kiddo who needs paper and pencil, or you just want them to have paper and pencil for working on the math, check out ThinkWell. Mr. D's has paper and pencil for their practice as well, but ThinkWell is a stronger program. Now, one thing that sets ThinkWell apart is that they do offer an honors track. And a lot of families will move from Beast 5 to Honors Algebra at ThinkWell. They do offer regular Algebra 2 as well as Pre-Algebra. As for which one, Algebra or Honors, it's going to depend on your kiddo, what kind of a challenge they want or need, how well they mastered Beast 5 and prior levels. They have placement tests, so definitely check those out. Now, what else does high school math look like besides algebra? Go click on the video on your screen. I've got a video all about everything you need to know and more about high school math. I'll see you over there.